Welcome to the West Ham Voice. I hope you all had a great Christmas uh, and now looking forward to the Premier League, which starts uh, later on today. And of course, West Ham United are the last game of uh, the return of the Premier League, where we play Arsenal at eight o'clock tonight. Um, bit of news. Um, uh, it seems that West Ham United uh, are now preparing for the inevitable in the summer. It's interesting. Uh, late on uh, Christmas Day, a story came out. It came out on a couple of social media um, channels about uh, Declan Rice and what David Moyes has said about Rice. Really interesting. In what could be the biggest transfer uh, of a British transfer fee of a Br British player, the news that we all kind of knew about anyway is likely to happen because of the confirmation by David Moyes. It looks like we're going to have to prepare for life without Declan Rice when next season starts. Again, like I said, it's nothing that I guess we really didn't already know. But uh, to hear it from, um, almost to hear it exclusively from David Moyes was uh, a bit of a surprise, I guess. Look, um, Mark Noble, he spoke to The Guardian last week, didn't he? And he talked about uh, Declan Rice. He said, we can try our hardest uh, to recruit the best players that the top five or six don't buy. And we might be lucky to get a few that slip, uh, slip through the net. Uh, but you can't compete with these teams. They're financially powerful. Um, if a top club wants to Declan Rice, they're just going to pay for him. Full stop. You've seen it with Jack Grealish, with the best players. If the top boys want them, we ain't got a chance. You know, that was um, Mark Noble last week. Then in an article that appeared first in Football London, a social media website on Christmas Day, this is what David Moyes said. He talks about Declan Rice and he said he wants to win and he wants to play for a really good side, which is going to give him an opportunity to do so. We hope that we can reach the Champions League. It's looking difficult at this moment in time. <laughs> That's a big statement. Uh, and he went on to say, um, it's looking difficult at this moment in time, but we're not just going to roll over and let Deck walk, uh, walk out the building. That's for sure. It's going to be a big fight. Uh, and I feel like he wants a challenge. Uh, he wants to challenge himself and wants to play in the big games. And he wants to be a top player. I don't think you're ever going to hold anyone back from those ambitions. Now, for, for someone like David Moyes to come out and make those statements, it seems to me that, uh, you know, it, it, this is our last season with Declan Rice, for sure. We kind of knew it. Uh, we, it's been a debate. You know, we speculate whether we might be able to keep Declan Rice to the end of his contract, whether we might be able to persuade him to sign a new contract at West Ham United, or whether we just have to accept the fact that he's going to be uh, not going to be our player uh, after this season. And for David Moyes to come out and say these things, um, I think is um, is pretty telling. Look, it's the worst kept secret, isn't it, that has been more or less confirmed. There's no chance we're going to make the Champions League uh, mathematically. I guess we still can. There's something like 69 odd, odd points to play for. But realistically, no. If we make it into Europe for a third season in a row, it's likely to be a route through winning the Europa Conference League or maybe the FA Cup uh, to get into the Europa League. But both ways get you back only into the Europa League and not the Champions League. So whether we like it or not, Unless we hold Declan Rice to his contract and allow him to walk away for nothing after another two years, we're looking, it seems that we're looking to prepare the foundations for bids to come in for him. But Moyes and the club are going to play hardball. They've, uh, um, with what Moyes said, we're not just going to roll over and let Deck walk out the building, that's for sure. It seems to suggest that West Ham United are going to fight. Not, not so much to keep him, but are going to fight to get as much as possible for him when the summer transfer window opens. Look, at this moment in time, Jack Grealish is the most expensive British player at £100 million. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and uh, which Man City paid for a couple of seasons ago, as we, as we know. Um, there are other players, um, uh, British players, £85 million, £85 million was paid for Gareth Bell. Uh, by Real Madrid some seasons ago. Um, £80 million was paid for uh, uh, Harry Maguire. And then uh, Man, Man United pay, also paid £76.5 million for Jadon Sancho. So you can see out of the top four British players, three of them 
are attacking midfielders. So can we get a higher price than Grealish for Declan Rice? Well, I guess um, uh, it's what uh, Mark Noble said. If a top club wants Declan Rice, they're just going to pay for him. So I guess we can put any value on him. And if a club comes in and decides to pay for him, then so be it. Can we really get 100, 120, 150 million? I'm not so sure. But uh, certainly we're going to try and get as much as we can for Declan Rice this summer. There's a chance, clearly, that he, he'll go to one of the top Premier League teams. You know, there's so many t- Chelsea consistently being linked with them, Man United, etc. But also, there's a chance that he might go to a European club. Look, to be honest with you, I almost don't care where he goes to. It'll be galling to actually see him play in a shirt in the Premier League against us. Uh, but uh, if that's how it goes, then that's how it goes. I guess... Uh, Clubs like PSG or Real Madrid may come in for him as well. It's it's quite possible. Um, I guess for many West Ham fans, it'll probably be less painful if he goes abroad. But I guess we're sort of uh, we seem to be in, in a position where wherever he goes, we're just going to try and get as much money for him. Um, David Moyes went on to say about the player, uh, he, you know, uh, about him playing so well in the World Cup. You could see that he's one of the, uh, the the biggest talents around at the moment. And he talked about, you know, a younger player, someone who's still learning. You'll probably see even more difference with him in the next four or five years when he matures, when he improves as a player. You know, he improves as a leader, etc. And Moyes said he's got all that to come ahead for him. In other words, he's got the best years to come but it ain't going to be in a West Ham in a, in a West Ham shirt. So if or when really Rice does leave in the summer, what of West Ham? Well there are a number of things that concern me of course. Firstly, where we will where will we be uh, as a club by the end of the season? Our league position isn't great at the moment, but I hope that we can get ourselves back on track and pull away from the bottom half of the league. And as Mark Noble said, We need to be in the market uh, of of probably 25 teams across Europe, maybe from fourth to eighth in their in their leagues, like the Spanish league and the German league. These are our rivals in the transfer market when we're recruiting players because we can't afford to buy who we want. Now, we can only do that, of course, if we stay in the top half of the league. Um, We can only compete with these other teams around Europe for, for players that we want if we finish sixth or seventh. But what if we, what if we don't finish sixth or seventh and we don't finish in European football? If we finish below, we're out of European football. The other way, as I mentioned, we can compete uh, for player signings is, is if we win a European, you know, European Europa Conference League, or if we win the FA Cup and get back into Europe again next season. But if we finish poorly and no trophy either, that means you know replacing the likes of Declan Rice or any other player that leaves West Ham is going to prove to be even more difficult. And also, another thing that concerns me is that clubs will know what we've sold him for. We're, they're gonna, you know, they know that we want top dollar for him. So when we go in for their players, they're going to do the same thing to us. If we can command whatever price we want for Declan Rice, then clubs around Europe or in 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 uh, in English football as well are going to do the same. So they're going to charge top dollar for anyone that we look to replace Declan Rice with. The other problem, of course, is that uh, we've got uh, another summer transfer window of uh, rebuild. We bought eight players last last summer. We're likely to have, need anything up to about seven players, maybe even more if Declan Rice, Rice leaves as well. Already, we've got seven players out of contract at this moment in time uh, when the end of the season comes. But there are a few players like Fabianski, Soufal, uh, Lanzini, who do have extension clauses on their contracts that we may trigger and may keep them. Um, but even then, we, we still may lose maybe five players, uh, possibly, uh, in the transfer market, you know, like, like uh, Randolph, for example. Um, uh, Dawson, we know, wants to go. Ogbonna's at the end of his contract. Even Connor Coventry may leave as well. I said before, there are some players, some young players from the development squad that could come in quite possibly. Nathan Trott being out on loan, who's doing pretty well, could come back in as a third choice uh, uh, goalie for us. Emmanuel Longello could come in, you know, on loan at Birmingham, etc. Pierre Requa, we're looking to loan him out. And of course, uh, the new signing, Lou Zhao. Uh, who's just been signed for West Ham. These are possibles. But to be quite honest with you, to bring in 
up to four players from the from the development squad is quite a tall order, you know, and it's not likely to happen. So we need money, you know, uh, if we do sell Declan Rice. How far will that money go? You know, that's probably why we're going to look for as much money as we can get. How far would that money go? Not only to replace Declan Rice, but also to replace some of the other players that we need as well. Look, um, the only the only thing I can cling on to is what Moyes said at the end of this uh, uh, when, um, uh, um, on on um, uh, Christmas Day. He talked about I've said it already. Younger player uh, Declan is a younger player who's still learning. Difference between now and in another four or five years will be he'll mature, he'll improve as a player, he'll mature as a leader, etc. And all things, all these things will come. Uh, and it's ahead of him. Now, could it be that he might be suggesting we're going to hold on to him and uh, and let him go at the end of his contract? That's clutching, to be honest with you. It looks like he he will be gone. You know, um, he, he Moyes is maybe sort of suggesting that uh, he's still got a way to go before he goes to a bigger club. He could be suggesting that, but I think it's more about uh, us clutching and hoping that Declan Rice will stay. It looks like he's going. Um, it's probably the first time even I've admitted uh, the inevitable. You know, I kind of keep kept hoping that quite possibly he would stay with us maybe for another season, uh, perhaps, uh, and maybe extend, you know, he's got an extension clause, clause on his contract, extend that and keep him for one more season. I mean, it also um, asks the question about... Um, what other players think, you know, we brought players in who are are ambitious, Skamaka, Paqueta, etc. They're ambitious. I'm sure they want to play Champions League football. What would it say to them if Declan Rice was sold? And what would it also say to players that may be looking at West Ham United as a possible option to come to? If we're selling our best players, then they might think, well, hang on a minute. What, what's the ambition of the club? We're caught, kind of caught between a, a rock and a hard place here because if we don't sell him and let him let him leave for nothing, we've lost a lot of money. If we do sell him, it might look to some clubs that we're not ambitious enough to to keep our our best players. So it's not it's not an easy um, uh, an easy position to be in. But it does look to me that uh, Declan, unfortunately, will be a West Ham player no more come the end of this season. Right, we've got the Arsenal game to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's hope uh, we, we we get some uh, satisfaction from that. Even if we get a draw there, it'd be fantastic. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. So we're looking forward to that. I'll be back with the West Ham Weekly on Tuesday night uh, with a complete update on all the latest news uh, surrounding West Ham. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.